Hello friends, welcome back. In this tutorial, we will study about directory structure. In this tutorial, we will study about common schemes for defining logical structure of a directory. So first one is single level directory. In this case, there is a directory which contains all files for all users. So a single level directory has significant limitations when the number of file increases or when the system has more than one user because all files are in the same directory therefore they must have unique names if two users call their data file test then the unique name rule is violated now the next logical structure for a directory is two level directory in this case there is a separate directory for each user in two level directory each user has its own user file directory so in two level directory when a user job starts or a user login the system's master file directory is searched the master file directory is indexed by username or account number and each entry points to the user file directory for that user in this case in a this uh, two level directory what happens uh, different users may have files with same name as long as all the file names within each user file directory are unique a two level directory can be thought of as a tree or an inverted tree of height 2 as you can see here the root of the tree is master file directory and uh, the direct descendants of master file directory are user file directory and uh, the descendants of user file directories are file themselves now in two level directory what happens a username and a file name define a path name so to name a file uniquely, a user must know the path name of the file desired, right? So in two level directory, the username and a file name, right? The username and a file name, they together define a path name. So for example, suppose there is a user and he wants to access his own test file whose name is test. Then he can simply refer to test. But if he wants to access the file named test of another user B, then he has to refer to user B test. He has to specify the path name. He has to specify the username as well as file name. Now the next is tree structure directories. In tree structure directories, users are allowed to create their own subdirectories and to organize their files accordingly. In this case, a directory or subdirectory contains a set of files or subdirectories. For example, see this diagram. Uh, this diagram shows a file system having a tree structure directory. So here you can see this is a directory and uh, this directory contains these three subdirectories and uh, here you can see this uh, subdirectory the entries of this uh, subdirectory here the, the two of them are files and uh, one of them is subdirectory so what happens in a tree structure directories a directory or subdirectory contains a set of files or subdirectories in normal use, each process has a current directory. The current directory should contain most of the files that are of current interest to the process. In tree structure directories, there are two types of path names. One is absolute path name. This absolute path name begins at the root and follows a path down to the specified file given the directory names on the path. It will be clear after this example. Now see this same diagram. Suppose uh, in this diagram, what happens? Uh, 
we need the absolute uh, path name of this file k then how we will get it we will start from the we will start from the root right and uh, we need the absolute path name of this file then we will follow this entry then from here we will follow this entry so first uh, we will write root then a then f and then k so this is the absolute path name of this file right so you can see here the absolute path name of uh, this file is root a f k now second is relative path name so what is a relative path name a relative path name defines a path from the current directory for example consider a file with absolute path name a f j n suppose the current directory is root a f then the relative path will be j n it will be clear after this example now see here the current directory is this one right so the absolute path the absolute path of this directory is root a f right now from uh, this current uh, directory i need the relative path name of this file name so i need to follow the path j and then n so the relative path from this current directory to this file name m n is j n right the file name uh, of uh, this file is n right so the relative path name from this current uh, directory of uh, this file name is j n as you can see here this one 